Um, can you say something? Hello. Okay. Just check in here. Uh, sounds on my end. Hello, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> We're doing a different dating game today. Cause Sam can't join. But that is okay. Um, I hope the sound's okay. For me, this game is really loud, but I I can't tell on the stream. I assume it's okay. I can always turn it down if I need to. I'm gonna do it on my end. Uh, so anyway, I we have never played this on my channel, but um, we have any sure. Do I? Yeah, we played it on the other one. Yeah, um, but for anyone who has, I don't know, who knows that I used to stream with the Team Pazaj channel, and we did this before on there, and I thought about, oh, we can just, like, continue that one, because, like, we did that with, uh, with the Dream Daddy, but we didn't get that far into Dream Daddy, which is why we just continued that story that we were doing, um, but I think... We're gonna start over for this one, um, because it's just gonna be me and Emily, and, uh, before when we did this, uh, Hans was also with us and stuff, and not that he's a bad influence or anything, but he's definitely dog-oriented as <laughs> I am cat-oriented, and Emily is animal-oriented. <laughs> yes, so, I love um, so we're just gonna start over. Good morning, Rainbow Bay! And this is Rise and Shine with Shocky have... and Jockey. I'm your host, Shocky. Voice actor, I don't remember that. I uh, don't remember this game. You don't, you don't remember playing this game? <clears throat> Good morning, Rainbow Bay! Can you this not hear is... it? Oh, no. Oh, it already read it. It has voice oh. acting. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it all has voice acting, but this one was already read. Um, and yeah. I'm Jockey. What up, fam? Yeah. Um, it's leaving. Boy, also, it's Friday night day night. This morning. We gotta have our First wine. Up, and I actually have wine this time. You as happy as this um, couple? Because when Sam visited, we got some Rieslings. I got one and she got one. Um, she left hers here, but I haven't finished mine yet. It's... I was drinking it last night too. <laughs> a whole day early on the drinking wine. But um yeah, I'm just drinking that cupcake brand Riesling. And it's really good. Hello? I am drinking water. <laughs> I mean didn't Jesus turn wine into water or water into wine? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not religious, so. <laughs> mm. It would be very cool. But, um. It was like water into wine because they drink mm -hmm. wine at church. <laughs> I, I used to always love it whenever I. So I was weird as. Well, I'm still weird as fuck, but I was weird mm, was as fuck. <laughs> Um, when I was a kid, oh. so back in like when I went to like my, I was you know I my aunt took me to church or whatever, and I I never paid attention. I was just a little kid, and so I would take the hymn books and pretend I was doing witchcraft in the back and casting spells on people. <laughs> you had the what books? The hymn books. Oh, the hymn books. I thought you said the Hindu books, and I was like, what the what? No, what no, the sense? hymn books. Because I couldn't understand anything in them, and it was like weird looking, like syllable things. And I was uh, just a little kid, and I'd just be in the back, like, hop a loop, hop a dah, hop a dah. I can't read I was... words, so this is witchcraft. <laughs> yep, I did that. Mm -hmm. um, so I noticed this earlier whenever I was messing with the settings. Uh, I don't think this was here before, but there is a spoop mode and a festive mode. <laughs> I turned spook mode on because unfortunately you can't have them both on. You can only have one or the other. Um, and I'd rather spook mode right now because it is 
it's closer to Halloween than it is anything festive. Uh, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> Goggle up some long boys heck and very hand that feed shibby maximum bork drive long doggo wrinkler heck shoe heck and fat rough pup you know what this is I'm a... sorry I think my dogs either got my cat's shit or Fox took a big poopy could have been a big be poopy right. Bruce anyway. likes to go in yeah. to the bathroom He's and eat dog snacks. thingy I hate it. He brings it outside and snacks on it. Uh, Sam's dog tried to do that a couple of times. It's so gross. Yeah. That's why I don't let dogs look me. So this is Rainbow Bay. I can't believe I'm finally here. It's been prettier than the flyers made it look. Oh, I should take a photo while the sun's still rising. Is that early? <laughs> nice. Hmm. Oh, you know that island kind of looks like a a dog! Isn't it amazing what sorts of things can bring people together? What a story! And you could live that fantasy too with Rainbow Bay's hottest mm -hmm. gaming app, Woofer! Jen? Huh? Oh, okay. Sorry, I lost connection for a second. Uh, it's okay. Hottest new dating app, Woofer. I think, like, naming a dating app, Woofer. Uh, it'd be specifically for dogs, not for humans who have dogs, but whatever. I, yeah. I need the, I need the company who made this, uh, who's the company that made this? I have no idea, but I need the company who made this to please make a cat one. Yes. <laughs> I hardly know her. Oh, shut up. Aren't there cat dating games? Maybe. But not like this. <laughs> you can look it up, cat dating games. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I swear. He looks like a dog with that hair. Guess radio hosts are just as bad no matter what city you're in. But really, romance can be just a wolf away. Just a wolf away. If you're looking for a little <laughs> Then Woofer may be right for you. I hate this dude. I need to know why I am I here. Him. I guess it would be a good way to meet people. I don't have a dog, but you know, I can still meet people with dogs, right? I can join the app even if I don't have a dog. Yeah, you know, maybe. Can't hurt. Go on. Do you think that's a requirement for that? Like, I know we get a dog in this game, but, like, if there was such a thing as a dog dating app, why would it be a requirement for you to have a dog? You can just like dogs, but not want the responsibility yet of owning, you know, a living thing. <laughs> Whoa, back off disembodied radio presen presenter. <laughs> oh, I'm just only going to get worse with wine. Right now, but let's put on a little bit of our latest hit, You're My Best Friend, to get you in the mood. Why would we'll be back a Rainbow song Bay's called You're My Best lady. Friend get me in a mood? In the mood. His voice sounds so funny. <laughs> These radio hosts are really pushy. Or weirdly pushy. Pushy! They're, they're not here. <laughs> I'm not moving all this way to miss out on another chance to make friends, though. I mean, you don't need the app to make friends. Okay, Rainbow Way. Rainbow Way! Why do I do this? Why do I talk like a child? I swear to God, it's TikTok. TikTok is making me age backwards. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm single and ready the wolf. Ready the wolf. New profile. Um, yes. <laughs> I don't care to see anything else. 
This is it. But we'll look anyway. Ooh. Huh. They, wait, why do they all have pink hair? Because you made it last time, didn't you? With no, pink hair. No, no, no. I, that we were redoing this game. We restarted this game. Oh, maybe it just brought in, I have no idea, like your thing from last time. Which one do you want to be? Long hair um, or short hair? We both have short hair. What are you talking about? I have long hair. <laughs> I've not cut my hair in so long. Your hair is like shoulder length, ain't it? No, it's not. <laughs> it's a oh. lot longer than that. It's been so long. <laughs> I'd like to cut it so it is shoulder length because I like that hair length. But... Oh. Um, uh, speaking of her, well, let's do the long hair then, or no, oh. okay, <laughs> short hair. Um, speaking of her, uh, I am going to do a balayage on myself, so if it comes out right, whenever I see you, maybe I can do you. <laughs> Surprisingly, um, you know, I had to dye the pink out of my hair, and I see Harlow playing a game. <laughs> um... I I ordered this Olaplex thing. I'm having issues oh, getting Olaplex. it in. It said it. Yeah, I got I got the kind that's only uh, able like only sold in salons like or sold to salons or whatever. But um, I got it off eBay. So oh, <laughs> All, yeah, like the thousands of reviews said it was like legit. So and the Olaplex is to save your hair from when you bleach it. So mm -hmm. I think it's like. A miracle thing because it it puts proteins back in your hair to help heal it because mm -hmm. um, you're basically stripping all that out um well this is our character jan harlow oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so cute i'll adopt you i well you will adopt me um <laughs> which i i guess I can say, like, it, it doesn't really matter. Which is really funny, because I was watching Dick Planet before, because they, they start at 8 o'clock, and, you know, I start 30 minutes later. So I was watching them before stream, and, um, the host Jacob was talking about how he's planning to move in December. <laughs> and he currently lives in Texas, but he's moving, uh, out of the country. I was like, oh shit. Um, but I am also planning to move in December, which is really weird because this will be the first time I leave the, uh, like, I don't know. I've always lived in this area. I've never lived anywhere else. So You were born in Texas, though. I was born in Texas, yeah, but pretty much, like, growing up, I've only been in Louisiana. So it's, it's really weird. Um... But it'll be nice. And the Harlows are yet. Uh, Emily is adopting me. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I'll be with them for a little while, which is exciting. How do you feel about being mugged? Any day, um, any time. <laughs> yeah, I got my pepper spray. I got my alarm on me. I got my, my stabby stab thing. A um, knife? Yeah, I got a big ass knife. Um, <laughs> it's not a knife, but it's a stabby stab thing. <laughs> I prefer a soft robbing. <laughs> uh, maybe with the right person. Yeah, I mean. Maybe with the right person. Oh my maybe. goodness. Yeah, maybe with the right person. Like, I, I guess I'd be okay with it if I was with Emily, because she's got her big stabby thingy. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Kyle! I don't know what Oz is doing, but I can hear him doing something. Uh, okay. Maybe, we'll say maybe with the right person. Oh, okay. When confronted with a human baby... <laughs> I like this question. How are you most likely to respond? Um, absorb its form. Hmm. Scream. Oh man. Awesome. I wish I had scream and like you know just scream. Yeah, just scream. Steal it and use its hair to sustain yourself. What? 
put it down gently and slowly walk away. Um, I would absorb its form. You know, I I quite like babies, um, and I would hug it until it is one with me. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Either that or gently put it down and slowly walk away, because that's what you want to do after, um, you know, petting a baby. And eat a banana while we debate. <laughs> Are we gonna absorb its form? Or are we gonna gently put it down? Um, absorb. What makes you feel more relaxed than even death itself? Um, comparing yourself to your ex. Oh, sorry, microphone. Sorry, people watching. I slapped my microphone. Uh, I feel like the ASMR one is you. ASMR tracks have been treated for the plane. So, there's only really specific ASMR that I like. Um, usually it's just like no talking, and then like little sounds of like your head being scratched or your back being rubbed. You know, that's it. Uh, streaming videos of dogs just like people. What about like cats just as people though? <laughs> you know. I like knowing the destruction of the universe is inevitable. You know? Hmm? The knowing the this freaking this there's a freaking yeah. rat that is attacking me. I'm being attacked by a little tiny bug. Jacob always he's like, wow, impressive. Whenever I kill a fly. Well, kill these freaking gnats and tie Um, put out some uh sh 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 what is it, water? And they fly to it. You just have to make it like a trap thing. I don't know how you do it though. Um, I don't think they like water. I think they like sweet stuff. Sugar water, maybe? Hi, dear. I was watching um a movie in the living room, and Judy came and sat in my lap and just went to sleep. And you're so cute, buddy, when you do that. But yeah, I was being attacked by a gnat because I was eating a banana. Let's go with the destruction. Uh. Which of these commonly searched phrases are more likely to be in your browser history? Hmm. Why isn't 11 pronounced 21? <laughs> are baby <laughs> dishwashers safe? <laughs> oh. How do you use the internet? Or can I hire two private eyes to call each other? Oh, um, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. I wonder if anybody's ever done that. They, they've had to. Dude, if you're like... If I ever got to the point where I just had money I didn't know what to do with... I would do that, 100%. <laughs> I, like, I'm just, you know, curious. Hi, buddy. Oh, oh, Jerry only came to visit because I have water. Oh, I love Jerry. Um, ass. Um, I, I, I didn't even read the question. Just click ass. Wait, oh, it says no. which of these Never suggestively mind. named cocktails would you be least willing to order? Um, um, slippery <laughs> Nini. Or a slow, comfortable screw against the wall. I would, I would be okay ordering that one. I. You don't want to say nipple. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's just a weird word. <laughs> nipple. Yeah. <laughs> I think nipples like fine than like the lady coochie word. Um, I saw something that was named uh, it, like it, it was. I was looking at vitamins on Target, and it was a vitamin called uh hoo ha. Like for your hoo ha, you know, oh, like God. your vagina. <laughs> Which of these scatting transliterations <laughs> most upsets you? Dot da ba dot dot do da ba do ya do ya do ba 
za ba ba za ba do za wee woo um bibby diddy bibby diddy boo doo boo boo -do -do boo i don't know um they all kind of upset me honestly Tom does this all day long. I think. I like that one. That one's funny. I think one of these two. Yeah. A pink one. Yeah, I think this one. Which of these? Um, Hang on. Ew. I didn't even read it. Ew. Ew. Ow, 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 ow. Which of these upsetting flavor combinations do you relate to most? Pickles and peanut butter. Uh, no. Um, banana, mayonnaise, and jello. All these sound like TikTok things. Disgusting. Um, I'm pretty sure and... there's TikTok stuff of that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, these also sound like pregnant. Um, cravings. The, um, I never had weird cravings like that. I just wanted to eat, um, what was it? Uh, uh, they did it, they, the Get a Dictionary guy has done stuff, like, the TikTok, like, trying of, like, random, like, food thing, co combinations, and it's hilarious. Yeah, I know the Tiny Meat Gang's also done it. Um, they did it on one of their podcasts. Uh, <laughs> they were like, uh, it was like a mix of, uh, which one of these is not a real TikTok thing? Um, and then the rest were, but it was really funny. Uh, I think orange juice and toothpaste, because I think that's the most relatable one. Because, you know, you'll, like, brush your teeth and then drink orange juice after. Like, as a kid, I don't know if you did that. You drink orange juice after you brush your teeth? Like, you're not thinking about it, because you brush your teeth in the morning... And then, like, you're getting ready to go to school or something, and you, like, drink a glass of orange juice, and you're like, oh, this this was a terrible idea, why did I do this? But you do it every day because you're just not thinking about it. I, I think about that because it I, I can't drink anything after I brush my teeth because it tastes disgusting. Yeah. Uh, but I have done that on several occasions. I think the cats are fighting. I hear the noises. In 300 years' time, dogs will most likely have, um their own TV network. Pretty sure this will happen in less than three years. <laughs> uh, overthrow the capitalist regime. Ascend a godhood or replace cars. Uh, how do they have their own TV network? I don't know. Don't they already do that? Yeah, they already have that. Their own TV network? Like, the whole network is theirs? Like, the whole channel is theirs. Let's see. I'm gonna Google it. Hold on. I'm gonna safari it. Ascend to Godhood is... That's what cats are gonna do. Like, 1,000%. Dogs, not a chance. That's a cat thing. Um, dog TV, yeah. Dog TV is a TV channel for dogs. A trusted source, significantly developed content for dogs. Dog TV is organized into relaxing, stimulating, and exposure segments to provide just the right balance for the daily routines of your beloved stay-at-home pups. So it's just for a dog to watch TV? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I guess overthrow the capitalist re regime. Mm-hmm. Uh, which of these glaring character flaws would most put you off a date? Um, maintains a bean-heavy diet. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Genuinely <laughs> believes fedoras are fashionable. Okay. Uh, repeat your jokes, but louder. I don't really care. I make bad jokes. If you can do it better than me, then that's all you. Uh, bases all life decision on horoscopes. That's fine. Sam would pick that one. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'd say one of these. I think I could get past the fedora thing, but like, only eating beans forever? I don't know. That's so many carbs. Oh, there, the poops would be horrible. He that yeah. the poops would be so backed I like up. I think that one. Human being. <laughs> like you would just live in the bathroom at that point. Mm-hmm. Your ex would describe you as a mystery wrapped in enigma, an overbearing mother figure, 
to the police. Uh, as three children, we're gonna try to go. Um. My would probably be. This. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not with my exes. Uh, I don't know. Where's like I'm the very... crazy cat? Mine would be to the police. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Um, I kind of want to go with three children, right? I tried to go. Because I'm not a mystery at all. In any way, shape, or form. I feel like I'm hearing gunshots, but I don't know. But, I mean, you do live in Texas, so. Yeah. I'm going to go with three children. Uh, we've got some matches for you. Robin... I like that hair. Shares your interest in esports. Okay. Uh, Anders shares your interest in cooking. Shares your interest in activism. Shares your interest in the cult. <laughs> I don't think we. That's so funny. Ooh, uh, true crime. Felix. I'm pretty sure he's a cop, right? He's a murderer. He looks like a cop. I don't know. What an absolute banger. Banger. That was weird. Oh no, they're still going. Yeah, and speaking of bangers, we've got Miss Tech. I'm Doc Sainsworth, here and ready to discuss anything other than my real name. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Fox is Rainbow Bay's very own wildlife expert, exotic animal purveyor, and radio host interrupter. We were about to say her real name on the radio, which she does not want out in the world. Mm -hmm. that's, that's not interrupting. And Bird Laura Fascinato. Bird Laura? I, I can't. As a resident animal lover, Fox, what do you make of a dating app for dog owners? Makes sense, doesn't it? Rainbow Bay has been named the world's most dog-friendly town by Paws Abroad magazine every year since 2016. Paws? You think, like, this is a dog-friendly town, but there's other animals, obviously, right? We also have the highest dog-to-human ratio, with almost every adult owning at least one dog. What the fuck? Really? With so much of the city being dog-friendly, you must know some hot spots for young lovers to bring their cuddly companions. Try just about anywhere. South Shore is the largest off-leash beach you'll find, so a great place to play together in the sand. There's lots of talk about Femur Island lately, though. Some say if you camp there with a poor pal who truly trusts you, the spirit of the world's best dog will appear before you. The best dog? Wow. I wonder what happens when you stay there with a soulmate. Hubba oh hubba. Oh my god. <laughs> is this so sex oriented? Probably nothing. But as I was saying, Rainbow Bay has a high volume of dog owners, but also plenty of young singles. I'm here. I'm listening. That reminds me, I should really get a dog before I start trying to meet the old lover. I, I don't think that should be in, like... No, I don't know about that, Fox. I've been trying to find a date for years and found nothing. Oh, I wonder why. It's totally not your personality. I'm not sure that's a fault of the dating pool jockey. Rainbow Bay was voted last year's number one singles mingling spot by Doki Doki Quarterly. Doki Doki. For all we know, there's a bright-eyed soul searcher sitting on a bus on their way to Rainbow Bay as we speak. Uh, you are correct. Am, am, am I being punked? She's right, <laughs> jockey. You're single because you're wholly unlikable. You're likable enough to put him on a radio show. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, that's all the time we have with Fox this morning. Coming up next, play to win a double date with Jockey and I. Oh, no, I'm good. Uh, do you want to beat that? Sure. How, how, oh, how should I sound? Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't, this is, I think this is just a one time. Oh. Okay, folks. Thanks for riding with us today. We've arrived in the Rainbow Bay's Arts District and we'll be unloading your bags any moment now. I bit my tongue. Well, Fuck, this that hurts. Is me. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Rainbow Bay, please be kind to me.
New life, new apartment. I was pretty lucky to find this place online. I hope it lives up to the pictures. Well, hmm, maybe. Seems to be spiders everywhere. Let's see. Apartment 204 should be here? There's someone trying to slip something under my door. Uh, can I help you? Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't know how he holds his dog. I don't get it. Oh. As he stands up, I realize he's holding a stack of, stack of papers oh. in one hand, and there's a brindle pattern Italian greyhound curled up and wearing a turtleneck in the other. He's so cute. Um, he doesn't get a voice, I guess. Is this your apartment? Sorry, I didn't mean to seem like a creep shoving the things into your door. Haha. -ha. My name's Sasha. The little guy is Marshmallow. Okay, that time he got... It read, I'm Sasha, the little guy is Marshmallow, but it didn't read anything else. I saw the movers bringing boxes in yesterday. Did you click something when you did it? Nope. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so, I just assumed someone was in there now, but no one has answered my knocks. I guess they got here before me. I just got in from New York. I'm Jan. New York. Sorry. Cause that's a real place. New York, huh? I lived there for a couple months. You didn't happen to frequent Superior Vena Java? Uh... <laughs> um... Are we gonna be a fan of... Coffee? That sounds delicious. Uh, of course, I'm a big fan of their adrenaline shot ex espresso milkshake. Haha, <laughs> 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 yes. My favorite's the mainline surprise. I can tell this was not by an American company. <laughs> Just the way they sell it. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's Canadian. That's so. Little... How do Canadian? Um, What's a Canadian accent? It's just a regular accent? I don't know. They don't sound like it. It's not an American accent. I mean, they don't have a... It, I wouldn't say they really have an accent. I mean, just watch... Have you not seen any of, like, Loading Ready Run when Jacob watches? They're all Canadian and they don't have an accent. I don't... I know what you're talking about because you watch it too, but... I, the only guy that I remember, I know, maybe it's not, I don't know. Uh, that's a little strong for me. I like my coffee, like I like my romance. Mostly sugar and covered in whipped cream. Sorry, I'm trying to look at a Canadian accent. Uh, exactly. <laughs> So what brings you to Rainbow Bay? Oh, I, you know, new life, new career, leaving my old marketing job behind. Why is he laughing? Uh -huh. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah. She's I'm a corporate grunt, seeking new life in a seaside town. Well, I'm glad to be the first person to welcome you to Rainbow Bay. Sacha winks, pulls out a sheet of paper from the stack in his hands, and thrusts it forward. You're going to want this if you're new to town. Uh, oh. the paper from his hands and look it over. It's a flyer for a dog adoption drive tomorrow morning at a local vet clinic, the Paul Prince Pet Care Center, in collaboration with the Pot of Gold Youth Association. Look at that fluffer. I work with the U group for underprivileged and queer youth in the Bay. Every dollar you spend on adopting a dog helps us get up a community dorm. That's cool. Yeah. Everything about this town so far is bizarrely serendipitous. Aren't you just the best little marshmallow in town? I don't that wasn't the right words. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Sasha, Sasha lifts Marshmallow in, uh, to his face, scratching behind his ears and scrunching up his nose as the dog licks it affectionately. Your dog is disgusting. Why would you do that? What? Like his mouth. 
Oh. oh. Sacha looks up again, trying to wipe his face inconspicuously and grins. It's still. It'll gross. be super fun. Tell me you're going to be there. Trust me, you might just find your four legged forever friend. <laughs> I'll tell you what, my four legged forever friend is not going to be at a dog shelter. Well, you might um, adopt him. Uh, speaking of four legged forever friend, one just showed up. Hi! Oh. Hi, buddy. Did you hear? Which one? Did you hear four legged? Um, the best one. <laughs> uh, I give you a kiss, buddy. Mwah. Mwah. Are you ready to to live with your Aunt Emily? Oh, Jerry. You ready to be accosted by dogs and a human child? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it looks like he's freaking out on the inside. Uh, <laughs> Uh, why not? I'm here to get a new leash on life. Ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. I look over at Jerry and he's like squinting his eyes at me. Oh. <laughs> I didn't make the joke, buddy. The game made the joke. Like, come on. Oh, come on. Leash? <laughs> yeah, get it? A leash. A new leash on life. I don't like this guy. I thought you said that you were uh, cool with them repeating your job. No, like it's just other things that, like he laughed at us when we said we worked at a marketing like company. Oh, uh, uh, um, that can be a sign of nervousness. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't. Maybe. I do it. I laugh nervously sometimes. I don't know. It didn't seem nervously to me. I love it! <laughs> ah! Ah! I was him laughing. Jesus. You, you, you really dug that one, hmm? Oh gosh. No, my... Stop making dog jokes and then he won't be like this. Dog. Because dogs, they dig. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. It's funny, like, it's him is like, he's dying with the text, but he hasn't, like, made a different facial expression. Are you okay? Should I put a pause on the jokes? Please, this is too much. This is just another dad joke game. <laughs> I think I'll just let him laugh it out for a while. Sacha leans one hand against the wall, wiping tears off, uh, tears of laughter from his eyes with the other. I don't think Marshmallow got the joke, though. I just don't understand how you hold your dog. And I never will. Iggy's looking around frantically, eyes wide with concern. His tail is wagging rapidly, beating against Sacha's lower torso. Is, is he okay? No, he looks fine. He's worried oh, okay. because his his human is dying because you told a dumb joke. I'm breathing, it's fine. I think Marshmallow got a little worried there. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Little, little guy. I'm so sorry, little guy. <laughs> Sutton nuzzles Marshmallow's head with his nose gently, then straightens his back and grins at me. Oh, Catch wait. you later. Oh. Well, it was nice meeting you. I live upstairs, so I guess we'll be neighbors. I hope to see you later. Yeah. Just, when you think of neighbors, do you think of upstairs neighbors? I always think of, like, side-to-side -side neighbors. I've always been an upstairs neighbor. Mm. Yeah, see you around. Like, I've always lived upstairs. Uh, I just, like, I've never lived in an apartment, so I guess maybe that's why. Um, one time... I had, uh, it was with Jacob, it was my first apartment with Jake, um, there was this old man, he died, um, unfortunately, um, but he would, my cats at, like, you know, in the middle of the night, they would do zoomies, and this yep. old ass man would bang on the, his ceiling, my floor, with his broom, 
I guess whenever they did it, like it never woke me up except for whenever he would bang. So whenever he start kept doing it, I would take my foot and I'd bang on the floor right back at him. I couldn't fucking stand it when he did that. But um, he died. Uh, he had a like a seizure or something. A seizure? <laughs> Hush. A seizure salad and I killed him? I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, this is a true... See, she likes cats! She has cat items! Target has little Halloween kitty stuffed animal things, and I got one for Tom today. Aww. Yeah. I still have, like, uh... It's like a cat pillow. It's black, though. It's been sitting in the living room forever. Um... You know, on the bright side, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because you guys don't have room. But I do get the my, the, I get to, the words. I get to take the bed. But, uh, you can put it in our garage. Yeah. You but, would just have to um put like a a protector over it. Yeah, but at least I'll have a bed for you know whenever I get my own apartment or house, whatever. Mhm. Mm I also get the TV. The big fancy TV in the living room. Didn't you buy that? Uh, no, we split it four ways. Oh. Yep, but um, Jeremiah it wants to take my PlayStation. So he's like, you can just like have my part of the, the TV. And then uh, Austin took a, an extra monitor that I had, so he was like, well, well, you can also just have my part of the TV, and Josh was like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> oh. So, the TV is mine. Uh, in my final hour, the sun is but disappeared. I lay alone in the cardboard grave I've made for myself. This is gonna be me soon. And eventually find my body that'll discover my bones, clutching a pair of keys in one hand and covered in empty cheese single. This is 1000% me. The investigators walk around baffled. What happened here? Why did this person own so many different Tupperware containers? And why did none of them have lids? They'll find my collection of novelty mugs. Well, they'll think. Jan was so well traveled. Look at all these cities they bought mugs in. But they're fools. I bought them all online. They'll find my passport expired and used only once. Jerry, sit down! They'll never discover what happened here. Not until it's too late. The boxes will consume them. Three more lives will be lost to the cardboard oppression. Nobody will cry for me. They'll stand over my headstone and wonder, Did Jan even drink from those mugs? No. No, I did not. I should probably go to bed. Why unpack today when I can unpack certain items only when I desperately need them to survive, right? Good night, Rainbow Bay. Ah! Who's there? Huh? Oh. I threw my phone across the room along with about seven t shirts I've been using for warmth. Do you not have a fucking bed? I could just let it keep going until the battery dies. I wonder how long that would take. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that I have done that. It's dog adoption day! <sighs> One panicked a Woober drive ride later. Jerry is slowly scooting closer to, like, me. <laughs> oh. oh, geez. There's a lot of people here. Really? I don't... I don't see anything. Jerry, don't lick the glass, please. I should have gotten up earlier. Uh, what voice should we do for this one? A Karen. What's, what's a Karen voice? Mm. Okay, everyone. We have a lot of dogs available, but there are more people here than there are dogs. So we need you to form an orderly, orderly line, calmly and qu- I wish I can finish, everyone in the crowd comes alive and bolts through the reception desk in hopes of being the first to pick. I need to get in line! 
I frantically throw myself forward in the crowd. I've definitely been less energetic. I've been- I've definitely been in less energetic mosh pits. Hey! 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 No cutting! I'm so sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> he freaked out. No cutting! It's a battle royale here, and I will not be the first to die. Shove it, strangers! Eventually, the situation cools down, and despite a lengthy argument with a suited man who thought he could cut in front of me, I found my place in the middle of the line. <sighs> I can see the vet standing behind the reception desk. Her face has stayed a constant visage of what I can only call doneness throughout this whole ordeal. Hmm. My assistant, Quincy, will take your details at the desk and then you'll be invited to the exam room to pick from our available dogs. An exam room? Ahem. Quincy... I said, my assistant, Quincy. At that moment, the door on the fall wall cracks open, and a sheepish, sheepish looking man sticks his head out. <laughs> hey! Hi, everyone. He sidles through siddles. It's a weird word. Uh, through the partially open door. Pulling the door shut closely behind him, as he does, he gives one quick final glance in the room beyond, then turns and grins with it. Hey Jade, just uh, we, we might have a problem with old cheese ball. Is that, is she Jade? Oh. Yeah. That Sheba will be the death of me. Alright. I'll coral the troublemaker. <laughs> you start getting people's details down. Aye, aye, Captain. That's what he said. <laughs> Quincy <laughs> takes over by the desk, uh, clicks his pen a few times, then it looks up with an astoundingly bright smile. <laughs> Alright, who's up first? Ready to meet your best friend forever? Ah, they said the name of the game! They did it! <laughs> Just a waiting game now. <laughs> okay, dog... Uh, new dog owner number 24. Oh. That's me! <laughs> hey! Hey, you're an unfamiliar face. Always nice to make some new friends. Welcome to Paw Prince. Thanks. I had no idea this dog adoption was going to be so busy. It's like the graveyard of the teenage bug woman in here. <laughs> oh. What? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Like that scene where all the zombies were chasing after the bug woman? Get back, you non-insect flesh eaters. You'll never take me undead. In hindsight, that movie's dialogue needed a lot of work. It's no uh, ad day they eat, that's for sure. Uh, I'm... Huh? I'm, I'm sorry, I was reading it. I was accidentally saying it. Uh, I'm more of a fan of the mystic robots must sleep. Nah, like, give what? Give the first. I think he the first one goes more towards of being his friend, right? Isn't it? I I don't think I think they're just like talking about movies and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Us robots do the are cool. Yeah. Do it. There's just something so relatable about it. Like I too must sleep. You know. Hmm. I have a few dog beds I could pile together if you need to take a breather. Uh, don't tempt me. Anyway, unfortunately you're pretty late to the game now. Not many dogs left for adoption. But worry not, that Aww. means you're fated to adopt one of the fuzzy little buddies waiting for you behind that door. <laughs> Let's just get the D's, the, 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 <laughs> can't talk today. These details sorted out first. Okay, name? Jan Harlow. Well, it's wonderful to meet you, Jan Harlow. I'll just get you to fill out all these other boring bits with the old pen and paper, and there we go. Quincy swivels around his wheelie chair as a form, uh, as a form edges its way out of a nearby printer. Tell the usual stuff, address, phone, age, living situation, where your dog will sleep. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, hey... Why do you need to know where the dog will sleep? <laughs> oh, that, yeah, it's, that's just so we can kidnap the dog after you pay the adoption fee and just kind of recycle them. <laughs> right, right, yeah, 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 cool, 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 cool. Yep, mm-hmm. So, 
<laughs> I nearly had you there, right? Nah, it's just so we can get an idea of the kind of uh, lives the sweet little pups are going to be living after they leave our care. Plus, it helps us understand how they're living if they have any issues in later checkups. Pretty straightforward. Uh, there are a few more questions along those lines. I see. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> just, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want a dog and after you like I don't have a dog bed he'd be sleeping with me and I don't know how I feel about that uh hmm. alrighty let's see what we're working with hmm, renting small apartment never owned a dog before huh yeah I mean how hard can it be nah probably not Dr. Kim can run with through all that with you she should be ready for you now so why don't you go in there and uh, take this form and let her have it the form. I mean, I don't cross her uh, in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> he does a full 360 spin in his chair, then dramatically points me toward the far door. Finger guns and all. Thanks for your help. No problem, Jan Harlow. Why are you saying my full name? It's weird. How's it going? Jan. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, that, mm-hmm, that's me. Take a seat. I'll just be a minute. Oh, please don't talk to me like that. Uh, she barely looked up when I entered. She's sitting at a computer. Jerry? Intermittently typing away at the keyboard before sighing and rustling some papers on the desk. Hi, buddy. I know you want water. But you've already rubbed your face all over it. And there's probably hair in it now. And now I can't drink it. The joys of data entry. I have a quick scan of the room, but the only seat seems to be the one she's sitting on. Unless there's the examination table. Does she want me to sit there like like a like a dog? No, no, she, no. There must be another option. Because actually on the table there is only one chair, only one can sit. So do we sit on the table like a dog, or do we sit? <sighs> I really want to do the first one, but I feel like she's going to be... <laughs> I think we did the second one last time, so let's do the first one. <laughs> I have to act quickly. It's clear this table is the only other seat, and I mean, she's a vet, so she's used to her patients sitting on the table, right? I can't be caught looking around the room like I don't belong. I need to seem like a respectful, fast-thinking dog owner. And so... I begin my ascent! The right leg first feels more natural. Just hoist it up and, uh, overall, heck. I haven't stretched in months. Oh, fuck. I'm in the middle of the examination room. One leg swung up top the table. I can, peer, can feel every tendon in my legs and groin screaming. The heat from my leg muscles emanates up to my face. Until I'm sure my skin could provide a sustainable energy source for a whole new planet. My eyes start to water desperately as I do everything in my power not to squeak and or cry hopelessly. Why? Why didn't I stretch first? What hope is left for me now? Why? Excuse me. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, um. So, I'm just going to bring out the dog while you figure out your situation. She's really cool. Yes, ma'am. Jerry, you can't get back there, buddy. I'm sorry. She rolls her eyes slightly as she turns away and leaves into another room seemingly full of kennels. There's only one way to undo this hell I've cast upon myself. I let my body go limp and slump, slump to the floor gracelessly. You just fall over? What the hell? Where? What the fuck, child? Jerry! I consider letting myself just lie there for a moment, but I don't know when she'll be back. Reluctantly, I find my feet again and await her return, standing to attention as if to make up for uh, what I just forced the good doctor to witness. Mm -hmm. And she returns. We have four dogs for you to choose from. Take a look at their kennel cards and see who you'd like to take home. I want all of them! 
I promise they're all wonderful dogs who will make you very happy. Are you ready? Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Give me doggy. Give me the most cat-looking doggy, please. All right, now. Take your pick, and please excuse their names. That's all Quincy. Feel free to change them. I think her face got um, less, like, mean-looking after you did the table thing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> did you see it, like, for a split second? She, like, like got mean again. Aww. Oh. There's Titan. Really good, well, semi-good manners. Um. I like the dog that's next. The Kato. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's who we chose. It was. Oh, no. Look at him. Confiscate. Oh, oh they were. Okay. So this was a stray, and this was a... Oh, wait, we can read their backstory. Okay, this is Titan. Oh. Uh, she's a lady. She's a Maltese. She's four years old. And, uh, okay. I'm excited to meet you, but if I seem shy, you can tell I'm happy by looking at my busy little tail. Uh, I'm a four-year-old Maltese terrier. I was found in a big storm one day a long time ago, which might be why I've had a lot of trouble with my heart. Oh my god! I've been through quite a few operations ever since then. I've been uh, I've been to lots of lovely families who agreed to look after me while I got better. Now I'm looking for someone permanent. I'm sort of scared of new people. Wait, what? Okay, but once I get used to them, once I get used to someone, I'll give them uh, all the attention in the world. I love to sit on warm laps when I'm not pulled up on my favorite blanket, I like short walks and rolling around on the floor. Sometimes I get a little too excited and make a mess, but it's only because I have lots of love to give, even though I'm very tiny. Aww. Oh, okay. This is Blocker. Do you want to read for him? Sure. Oh. What do I read? One second. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I had to drink it. Um... Okay, Blocker's a man, one-year-old, chocolate, really good manners, he doesn't have a lot of trust. Okay. Hi, I'm Blocker. Behind my intense face, I am actually a big softie who just wants to play all day long. I'm a mutt, which really means I'm a mix of a lot of different breeds of dog. All the best bits. My previous owners didn't treat me very well, and some nice folks had to take me away. They cleaned me up, gave me lots of cuddles and pats, and they're helping me look for a new home. Since I didn't get to, um, I didn't get the best start in life. I can be a bit stubborn and loud. Noises or, sh or shouting can frighten me. Um, treat me with love and care, though, so, and I'll be a loyal forever. I love to run around, and I'm pretty. I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm pretty strong. <laughs> so be careful to keep a tight hold on my leash when you take me for walks. I'm always eager to play, fetch, or explore since I didn't get outside much as a puppy. Oh. I might get a little too friendly or act a bit scared sometimes, but a kind family can find a very good friend in me. The doggy. You got a friend in me. Cheese ball! I like cheese ball. I didn't mean to scream. <laughs> uh, <laughs> female. It's a Shiba Inu. Only nine months. Not even a year. Surrender. Cool. What? What does that mean? Surrender, like when someone can't take care of a pet, they bring it in and they surrender it. Oh, okay. So this was it's just a stray. They were just found. This mm -hmm. was taken from a bad yeah. home. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Very fit and smart. Hello, I'm Tweezeball. <laughs> oh. Just because I sound delicious doesn't mean you should eat me, though. I'm a Shibu Inu, and I'm only nine months young. That means I can be a bit of a handful, but I could still use some sort of some socializ socialization. <laughs> The most important thing you should know about me is that I'm a free thinker. I might do what you say, but only because I want to. <laughs> I'm a proud Shantus. Is that what that is? Okay. But my neighbors don't seem to like my Shiva scream very much. 
I don't know why. Ice beautiful, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm beautiful. <laughs> if you're gonna adopt me, you need to be prepared to not let me manipulate you into getting what I want, because I can be very convincing. <laughs> I like cheese ball. Aw, this is Cardigan. He's a Staffordshire Terrier. Two years and gray. Stray. Gray stray. Way stray. Uh, fitness, social, okay. Greetings, potential family. <laughs> sounds like an alien. Greetings, potential family. <laughs> My name is Cardigan. But you can wait, no, 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 no. But you can call me Cardi. For short, Cardi B. Cardi hey. B. I'm a staff Staffordshire Bull Terrier. I'm about three years old, but it's hard for me to tell exactly when my birthday might be. I was found wandering the streets in a bit of a rotten state. Despite graduation, can you move your cursor? <laughs> um. Despite graduating from the school of hard knocks, I love people, especially the little ones. Please be careful with me uh, around other dogs, though, as they scare me sometimes. Even though my hips get a little sore sometimes from, you know, shaking it all around, I love to get lots of exercise. I'm happy with a high-speed chase, though, through the trees of a separate anvil to the local shops. Have something ready for me to chew on after you adopt me, or you might just lose your favorite pair of shoes. Give me boundaries, and I'll love you forever. Aww. I know the shoe that I want. <laughs> I like, yeah, I like cheese balls. Cheese, cheese balls, my favorite. Okay. Cheese ball. Uh, adopting a dog is a serious decision, so make sure, yeah. This wee one will be yours for life. Yeah. What's this? Cheese ball! I want a pet. Oh, 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 pet. Oh, oh, pet. Should um, we rename it or uh, keep it? No, uh, cheese ball. Cheese ball is special. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh, this has the, uh, yeah, the, the combos. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. 50, come on. Whee! I forgot how high you can go. We're at 100. Can we get 200? Yeah, I'm using two fingers. Whee! Is 100 as high as you can go? Oh, my mouse is moving! Ah, 200! <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're so cute! Aw, oh, I give you nice pets. Yeah, best pupper. Okay. Uh, ace. Yep. You seem like a good match. Your form says, oh shit, I'm still in the Cardigan voice. Your form says you're a first timer. We don't want to let you, want to let that stop you, but it's important to us that any dog who leaves paw prints is loved and looked after properly. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a condition of adoption that both yourself and Cheese Ball Pass Paws Academy, our dog training program, <laughs> will provide some basic tools to help you bond with your and train cheese ball, but it's up to you to keep her happy, healthy, and trusting. Cheese ball is a lady. Every five weeks, we'll check in with your class to see how you're doing, like a class review. After 15 weeks, we'll be having final exams. Oh, yeah, examinations to see if you and cheese ball are going to be right for each <gasps> other. What? Cheese ball. I guess he had too much cheese. <laughs> 15 a week, huh? That sounds doable. I'm sure we're gonna get along just great. Aren't we, Cheese Ball? Yeah. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Just see Quincy on your way out. Let him know you're joining Paws Academy. It's like school, but for dogs. He'll set you up with all you need for cheese ball. All right, thanks, Dr. Kim. Uh, see you next time. Please, Jade is fine. I've never met a doctor of any kind who does not like to be called a doctor. Oh. Aww, they got scared. Jerry! <laughs> He's clawing the bed. Um. Even, like, uh, at the clinic I used to work in, when, like, doctors hit, came in, uh, mm -hmm. as patients, like, they, there was, like, if we said their name, they are like, doctor. Like, okay, dude, I, I, how am I supposed to fucking know that? Mm -hmm. The crowd is almost oh. completely cleared out. It's actually pretty peaceful in here. I had a teacher who had his doctorate, and this man was like, I actually really enjoyed him. Um, he was really nice to me, but his name, uh, like, was Dr. Cluck. Oh. No! No! Oh, God. Uh, Quincy seems busy talking to a woman with thick, unruly auburn hair. She's leaning against her desk. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm like Georgia with long hair. With wings on. Oh. <laughs> Neither than that leash is a groomed dog, slightly longer than its tail. Wait. What? Its long coat shiny and mottled with silver, black, tan, and white. Get over here. The dog is an Australian Shepherd, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. is sitting calmly, patiently, and minding the business of- Wait, patiently, not minding the business of any other pups around the clinic. <laughs> I know! Cheese ball! Cheese ball! Cheese ball, no! Arf? Uh, they're, uh, uh, the sniff, sniff. <laughs> Do you want to be the redhead? <laughs> sure. Looks like we've got a newbie here, Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's a bit, uh, excited, I'd say. I'm so sorry. Oh, my dog. She's supposed to stop. Oh, yes, my dog. <laughs> oh, my dog. <laughs> Uh, looks, the, the doggy looks at Cheeseball with its mouth open, tongue hanging out happily. Aww. Cheeseball keeps going. Here, let me help. Here, slacken her lead a little. Uh, I put a, I put a little more give into the leash and immediately Cheeseball starts barking. Aww. A lot of the time, aggression is just barrier frustration you need to let her explore a little at her own pace try not to let her make a habit of getting into other animal spaces like that though it helps to reward her as soon as she sees another dog to let her know that the dog uh the dogs bring good things like treats oh that's a cool idea Ooh, tweets tweets ah oh, very good robin Spoken like a true Paws Academy alumnus. Haha, <laughs> I still remember a thing or two from the good old days, back before Missile here started taking care of herself. Missile? Arf? <laughs> oh. Hey! <laughs> good day, Missile. How are you? <sighs> Crikey! Is he supposed to be Australian? Are we in Australia? Or is he doing this on purpose? She's a talkative one today. Shall we get you checked into daycare, then throw another shrimp on the Barbie, Missy? I think he's, mm. yeah, I think he's doing this on purpose. <laughs> Here we go. What's with the accent, Quincy? Uh-oh. 
Uh, Missile is an Australian shepherd. <laughs> Just trying to make her feel more at home. Hmm. She's never actually been to Australia. She was just named after it. <laughs> it's ancestral. I honestly don't think Australian Shepherds are even originally from Australia. They're just named. Are they? I've, well, I don't know. Aust Google. Australian Shepherds. Uh, it's a herding dog. Uh, what? Yeah, they're they're. Nope. Not Australian in any sense. Americans named them. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, it, well, I don't know why we would do that, but whatever. <gasps> don't be a drongo. Don't, don't be a drongo, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting in the yard yaka to make sure this Sheila doesn't feel like she's lost out. Whoop whoop. Hmm. She's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, do we uh... keep egging him on, or do we just like, yeah? Can I just sign up for the thing? If you egg him on, you might get to talk to her more, and she'd be, you know, the pause buddy later on. Yeah, but she clearly doesn't like that he's doing this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I meant to ask about Paul's Academy. Oh! Right, mm-hmm. It's kind of like school, but for dogs. Hmm. Missile here was valid, Victor valid Victorian. Oh. Uh, graduated top of the class in 2016. Just look at that. True excellence. Shiny coat, perfect manners, doesn't react to aggression. <laughs> oh, stop. It's nothing. I don't know how she does it. What? Yes, you do. It's a mystery. I remember when it's I used to It's the result of a lot time. of patience, hard work, and love, and free time. From back when I used to have even a little bit of that. Let's have a look. Anyway, I can enroll. What's this little one's name now? Cheese ball. And I'm Jan. Nice to meet you, uh, Robin. That's right, Robin Savage. Savage. <laughs> sorry. Um. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I was uh, writing something down real quick. That's right. Uh, Robin Savage. Maybe I'll see you around town, or if you ever need a foreign object removed from your body. Uh. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I was drinking when you said that. What? You wanna, you know, elaborate? No? That you don't wanna elaborate on that? I actually need to head off to my shift. Is Missile all checked in? I mean, I'm assuming she's a nurse or a doctor or something, but like, you or know. Or that, or like a BDSM person who, like, you know. Yeah, you should really elaborate on that. You know, maybe just a little bit. Mm. Sure is. Have a good day. <laughs> They're a nurse savage. What a fucking name. You should become a doctor and be Dr. Savage. <laughs> ha. More like hurting cats. See you next time, Quincy. And good to meet you, Jan. Jan. She marches away. She seems nice. Mm. She's a good one, Robin. Never as calm as she lets on, though. It's hard to know what's happening under all those fiery locks. Well, if you shut the fuck up, maybe, you know, you figure it out. Now then, Paul's Academy. It's like, like school, but for dogs. Got it. <laughs> yeah, heard that before. I wonder where. 
Uh, it's pretty hands-off. It will provide you with the basics. You need to continue your training. Uh, to continue training... Ugh, I got cat hair. Fucking after. Training your pup, and we'll check in every now and then. See how you're doing. But we'll... We put a focus on making it about you and your dog. Building a relationship that's based on trust and respect. And picking up poo. Oh, boy. Cool. Someone's got to do it. Uh, okay, brown bag. Cool. In here, you've got a set of toys, treats, and tricks to get your training underway. This won't last the whole program, but that's fine. Mm. You'll be able to discover more as you train your dog and form relationships across the city. Make sure to have at least one good, long quality time session with Cheesebell every week. And put those tools to him. Hey, and put those tools to the test, okay? Got it. Thanks, dude. Hey, no problem. If you ever have any more questions, feel free to call us. Don't be a stranger. Nothing makes me happier than seeing how our dog adoption, our dog adoption dogs, is arriving with their new owners. <laughs> you take good care of cheese ball. Now. Let's go, cheese ball. Let's go. I'll be trying my best. We've got a lot of work to do together. Come on, cheese ball. Come on, cheese ball. With my starter kit in hand and cheese ball in the other, I spin around and go home. Cheese ball trots ahead of me, sniffing and waggling, wag wiggling, a little waggle. Oof. Um. Pet him, pet him, pet him, pet him. I got it, I got it. Uh, pulled by the whim of uh, the ram. Why does everyone have wings on? Halloween. Oh, the spook thing. Okay. Wait, why don't we have wings? Uh, pulled by the whim of the rambunctious cheese ball, I fall headlong into a stranger on his way into the clinic, sending papers flying into the air like a burst, like a burst feather pillow. Uh, you want to do a deep voice? Oh my. I am so sorry. Ah, that's quite all right. I just need those papers. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Let me let me help. I crouched down, releasing the starter kit, and began collecting papers from the sidewalk. Are uh, there legal documents, judging from what's going on? In... No. Uh, as I stretched toward another sheet, it snatched away by a blonde muzzle. I face to face with a bright-eyed golden retriever. I mean Labrador. Uh, lab for... Is it me or is that spelled weird? Have... Google what? it. Yeah, you're right. What the fuck? Lab for... Do I know that's how it's spelled? What the... Why does it look... He pooped. He pooped. What? Oh, he farted. Oh. <laughs> huh. Well, I guess I've just never... Seen Labrador spelled out, or it just said looks weird. Thank you. Oh, thanks. I'm sure you're not bad looking yourself. What? Uh, 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 oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I was talking about the dog. <laughs> Look at his tongue. Look at his I know. tongue. I know. Just wishful thinking on my part. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, uh, please don't pat him while he's working. Um, why did we date this dude? Working? Hemingway is my guide dog. Oh, how cool. He's a good boy, but he needs to focus when he's on the job. Oh, gosh, you're... Blind, yes. For the most part, anyway. You saw me pet him, though. Yeah, for he can, like, that's when they're losing vision. Like, you know how they have oh, the like blind to pool? start. Well, like to start, it's like they, um, from what I've seen, like I don't know the process, you know, but um, they have the stick thing like to, to help learn. Yeah. Uh huh. Don't let that put you off, though. Love is blind too, you know. Oh. That that's a good line. <laughs> 
face gets red. I don't know if he's serious. Hmm. I'm Anderson, Anders Hamilton, family lawyer. Uh, I shake his hand. It's a little bit bigger than mine. Uh, the corners of his eyes pinch up as he smiles. Betraying some age. <laughs> My handshakes don't usually last this long. What? Ew. Oh! I'm dead. Dar mm -hmm. Sorry. I didn't say I minded. You have very soft hands. This is creepy. Yeah. Thanks. I I think uh, you have a Alice. Oh, good mind. <laughs> Jennifer, that is so cringy. Yeah, I don't know. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Well, you're right. It's from a chef's knife. I take classes. Uh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, second one, the second one, the second one. No, we already dated this dude in the other playthrough. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean I, we can still say it. I'd love to see what you can do with those hands. My specialty is Egg Benedict. <laughs> Dick. I should have said that egg's been a dick. Um, perhaps I'll make you make it for you if you're ever around in the morning. Yep, I am. Um, uh huh. I I'm more of a sweet breakfast person, you know, like waffles with like all of the syrup. And she Dude. said extra whipped cream. Yeah, I know. Waffles are a basic, aren't they? Shut the fuck up, Anders. Waffles are great. <laughs> it's weird. I was just saying Hans doesn't like. He's not super active in the Discord, and he just says <laughs> the Discord. He <laughs> what? I said Hans isn't super active in the Discord, and he just says something in the Discord. Oh. <laughs> wait. Wait. What? It's just, there's a lot more that goes into Eggs Benedict. He's too it's more... up his own ass. What? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. That I'm reminded me this. of that video where it's, where it's that chick who um, says, like, uh, like, I don't want to be racist, but Asian people, and then she makes that loud, like, that noise you literally just made. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. It's the laugh. Oh, yeah. we're actually... Sorry, what were you saying? Um, I can't be loud right now because Tom. But I think I can recreate that laugh. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> uh, you can do it when Tom's awake. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually, he'd probably laugh at it anyway. Um, we're actually talking about food, aren't we? When, yeah. What else I took my about? cooking very seriously. That duck. Duck. That duck. I love that. Mm. Anyway, I was actually on my way to a meeting. Thanks for your help getting these papers together. No problem. I think I put them in the right order. They weren't numbled. No, they weren't numbled, but I tried. <laughs> if not, you'll be hearing from my lawyers, which is my dick. Dick. Uh, huh. <laughs> I mean, me. I'm my own lawyer. My duck. Man, I... I know this is random. I wish we had a beignet, please. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just really want a beignet now. I used to get beignets for breakfast at school. Like, that was like a normal thing for our breakfast at school. Did Was that for you, too? I never ate at school because it cost money and um, I never was given money to eat <laughs> at the school. 
So. Not even elementary? Uh, elementary school is different, uh, but no, we did not have beignets in elementary school. <laughs> yeah, we had them like um, elementary and junior high. Whenever I moved what? up. What uh, elementary like, school did you go to? Uh, a southern one. Um, but when I well, moved okay. up to like where you're living right now, you know, in that town, um, I didn't get that any, like, you know, it wasn't a, a normal thing, yes. but yeah, we would get beignets, um, and then like sausage on a stick and stuff like that. To, and we would get syrup with it. Yeah. Uh, beignets are not a normal, like you can't even, I don't even know if you can actually get beignets anywhere here, like on a regular basis. Um, what we would used to do is we would, like, bite into it and then breathe, oh. and then the dust would go all over us. Uh, Hamilton, Hamilton, and Hamfrey. Oh, who's, who's, I'm sorry. Who's the other who's Hamilton? A, who's a beignet place here where I live? That's actually really good. Well, I know what I'm doing when I move. <laughs> I'm gonna get fat on beignets. It's it's a like you actually though you have to like get up super early to get there. You sound um, really far away. I'm I'm not. I got my headphones on my head. Yeah, you sound like you like stepped back. I'm laying back. I I adjusted them. Can you hear me better? Uh, yeah. Um, there's, like, I had to get up at, like, six to go put my name on the table, and we didn't get seated until, like, ten. Oh my god. I'll, uh, leave you to it. Hold on. You haven't told me your name. Why would I tell you my name? Oh, it's Jan. Uh, I'm a photographer, and this is Teasball. You've got my number. Whoa. Oh. Uh -oh. Well, oh, it's okay. been an absolute pleasure, Jan. Has you it? have my number if you need it. Mm. Cool. Yeah, see you. Bye. <sighs> Uh, cheese ball is happy. This is the beginning for the dastardly duo of Jan and Cheese Ball, our first time terrorizing the streets. Yes. Oh, I should press buttons. <laughs> it's a pretty nice day for terror. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Don't bork at me. That's it. From now on. Uh, I love that little cat. I'm a woobering everywhere. This one? There's a little mm -hmm. mug with a cat on it. Oh, have you seen the little Halloween cat that's went viral? I don't know, like, it's a little coffee mug. Oh. I'm best doggy, it's okay. Why did he get scared? Uh, I, I, it just randomly happens. Maybe you can whip up some lunch for us then, cheese ball, hmm? Yeah, put some in your mouth, spit it out like a mama bird. Okay, yeah, that was, yeah. Like, oh, whoa, hey! No! Fine, Jesus, I'll do it. No, he is a wild little doggy. Okay, I take the leash off. Fine, go to put calm children. Jan, he pooped, he pooped, he pooped. I looked back for a second because the cats are like fighting. Uh, children! Why are you guys doing this now? Oh. Hi. You licked my face, but please don't do that. Oh, someone's excited. 
No, my face isn't food. Jeez, well, stop. You must be pretty hungry after all that pooping on the way home. Uh, I'm going to whip up some food. Why don't you go, you know, look around for a bit. Find where you're going to sleep. Because I don't even know where I'm going to sleep. Where's the starter? Why? I place the starter set bag on the kitchen counter and dig around and pull out a large can of wet food. Oh yeah, we should probably go buy food. The smell of food hits me like a freight train as I open the can. Uh-oh. How much am I supposed to give you? I guess the whole can? Okay, yep, mm -hmm. you get the whole can. I emptied the can into the metal bowl uh, and yep, yeah, I just watch her eat. Good. Uh, I just keep, yep, just keep watching the doggy. Okay, I think we're just gonna lie down. Uh, what do they do to this floor to make it so comfortable? Well, you're probably just really tired. I submit to the yawns that will fall me, my eyes blearing up so I can hardly see what's happening as she moves away from her bowl and starts circling the door. That's strange. Why is her tongue sticking out? Is that a, is that a Shibu Inu thing? Shiba Inu thing? Is that an Inu Yasha thing? Uh oh. I don't know. <laughs> Why is he pooping so much? Uh, it just depends on their stats, I think. Oh no! Wait, what? what? I don't know. She just said, oh no. Oh, I guess. Oh, he pooped. Yeah, he pooped. Yep. Well, you gotta punish Cheese Ball. Like, well, like, you know. No, Cheese Ball. No, do that. Even I poop sometimes. <laughs> I think potty training will be our top priority. I'll get you a toilet pad for the balcony, too. And you can probably train Cheese Bowl to go to the toilet, like in the bathroom. Yeah. I know, I've seen cats do it. Why can't dogs? How about a training session? We need to figure out this Paws Academy thing. I wonder if you can train a dog to use a toilet. Probably. I mean, if you can train cats, you can probably train dogs. So we need to get her manners up. Uh, how about, uh, we can do manners and sociability in one, because those are really low. Okay. Uh, where is it? Dog park party! Wait, what? wait, oh, never mind, never mind. I was like, what's the yellow one? But it says sociability. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh, this is for the first week. Okay. So, the second day... You should go down and do the trust and manners. Huh? Oh, it's smart. It's shit. Is there any trust in man? Yeah, trust and manners. Social media. Okay. And then... We can Sociability do... Sociability and fitness. It's... Wait, what? Sociability and fitness. Sprinkler party. Oh, right here. Yeah. I think doing another manners one is still pretty good. Advocate um, for adoption. Yeah. And what's the last one? Let's do a fun one. Uh, pup flicks and chill. Who frisbee wins? No. Um. Because it does static fashion down. What about Sheesh. walkies and talkies? Uh, oh. I don't have my glasses on. It's okay. Uh, we could do a squander of the day. No. No. Okay. Walkies and talkies. Uh, dog profile. She's oh. hungry. I want to pet you. Okay. How do I go back? Run a week. 
Okay. What are we... Is that it? What's happening? Oh. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Should we be the best mannered doggy? Why does it look like the dog's being punched? Okay. They're sleepy. They're hungry. Let's feed. Um. Let's see. Hygiene. Uh, energy. Let's do. Let's just do wet food. What? Ah! You're so dirty. Eat it up. Why are you so dirty? Yeah, Hydration. give him some water. Here you go. Oh, we can only do three things. Oh, I God. would give him a give bath? her a bath after. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, she's hose down. Wait, shampoo, right? Oh, we can only do one more. No, look. Oh, tolerance. Yeah. No, she's fine. You can do... Oh. Yeah, you can only do three things. So you can, like, feed and water them. You can give them a bath. Oh. Good job, cheese bowl. Okay. Um, not a lot of people though. Maybe I should invite everyone over for a housewarming. You're right. I definitely need to unpack first. Maybe I'll wait a couple of weeks. That gives me time to make even more friends. Well, for now we head to bed. There's all sorts of havoc we can wreck tomorrow. Oh, puppy. Um. Okay. I think that's going to be a good time to end. Uh, I didn't want to do a super long stream today because I, I just haven't felt great. Um, but... Oh, uh, how do you save this? Save. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Snoop booped. A hundred boops. Added dog. Dog padded. Dog padded. Woo! Um, anyway. Uh, we're, we'll be back tomorrow. Um, probably either doing Pokemon Unite or phasmophobia, or even both, it just depends. Um, but let's see who is streaming. No. Let's see who we got. Um. Jerry is yelling in the background. I don't know if you can hear. Uh -uh. Grab him, grab him, grab him, grab him! Oh my god, oh my god! Uh, it actually looks like Dick Planet is still streaming, so... I might just go read them. Yeah. I guess? Yeah, might as well. They're still streaming. Ready? Dick Planet. Um, okay. Well, we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>